Hello, this is Tyler from How To, and today I'm going to show you how to mobilize your Raspberry Pi Zero project using the Juicebox Zero. The Juicebox Zero is a battery management board that lets you power your Pi Zero using a battery. It comes with an on-off switch built in, which I know many of you will like. And my favorite thing about this board is that you can actually charge the battery and power the Pi at the same time using your micro USB power supply. So your project can be truly portable and continue to run while you're charging the battery. Let's get started, but before we do, please refer to the accompanying guide for a list of tools and materials required to complete this project. The first thing we're going to do is take the stacking GPIO header and place it firmly onto the header that's already soldered to the Pi. This might take a little bit of effort, but make sure it's seated fully onto the header. Next, we'll secure the standoffs to the Pi. To do this, simply screw the standoff in place as you see here. One thing to note is you should aim to use standoffs that are the same height as the stacking header. For this video, I used what I had laying around, so I actually cut my standoffs to size. The most important thing is that your standoffs are at least as tall as the stacking header. Otherwise, you risk bending the juice box zero when you screw it in place. Once the standoffs are in place, take the juice box zero and put it in place, making sure the pins slide through the holes on the board. As you can see here, the juice box zero sits firmly on the standoffs and there's only a little bit of space between the board and the stacking header. Then secure the juice box zero with screws. Now it's time to solder the header to the juice box zero. Soldering the header to the board is kind of difficult. It requires some practice, so if you've never done this before, I recommend you take the time to practice. Otherwise, you risk damaging the board. Here's what the finished product looks like. At this point, you might want to clip off the excess GPIO leads to prevent a short. Now it's time to test it out. You can use a lithium ion or lithium polymer 3.7 volt battery as long as it has a JST brand pH connector. Simply plug the battery in and turn on the Pi by sliding the switch into the on position. Blue light indicates that the Pi is powered. Then plug your micro USB power supply into the juice box zero to charge the battery and power the Pi. It's really important at this point that you don't try to power your Pi directly, otherwise you could damage the board. It's probably wise to place some captain tape or a dust cover over the micro USB charging port on the Pi. And that's it. Now you're ready to mobilize your Pi Zero projects. Thanks for following along and I hope you enjoyed this guide. Check out howto.com for more great guides like this.